What about the other uh, aspect? Why would anybody want to have these uh, two separate? Well, let me go back to, to this one. And remember I had a couple and doctor. That is, that is in a couple in doctor, I'm having two identical voltages and there is nothing to, uh, how you say, uh, what is, uh, which is making distribution in, if I have couple in doctor, of course, there a gap here and I have winding here and identical winding here. What is going to limit, uh, to determine how do I get, uh, you know, once after coupling, how do I get this ripple reduced in half on both sides and how to get this one uh, uh, to the point that's all ripples on one side and constant current on the output side. It's exactly, it's exactly this point I'm making here. That is, you see here, it is, a, yeah, it is ratio of these two leakages is a ratio of two ripples, you see? So therefore, if I want to make a ripple on one side, I want to make a leakage unbalanced and all the ripple, physical structure that most flux leakages is on primary side and very little on secondary. In that case, I get this unbalanced condition. There is constant current uh, on one side and, and all the ripple is on the other side, you know, which is much, much more beneficial. How do you get to that? It's more complicated, I'll go through it, but I'm just giving you first order in, uh, impression why really I was stunned for a little while, try to model, because I saw that, I made a prototype and I saw that these uh, leakages are important on one side and the other, and I can actually by changing the air gap on this magnetic structure, I was able to physically change the air gap and move a ripple from one side to another. So I needed a model to explain it. And this correct model is this, uh, uh, and this uh, leakages are divided. But now, 10 years later in the research with me and my students, we figured out then people's, uh, people, <laughs> when I demonstrated this, I, I had air gap pot core and air gap uh, changing by, uh, in fact, it was Alan Rocconi who made me this pot core in the middle of the pot core, he put a little screw and I was able to change the continuously uh, gap by moving around the screw, you know, top versus bottom of that. And then you, you could see suddenly ripple goes from output to input and an output current is constant, you know. So there was a, then, then there was a, there was sometimes this successful demonstration where also like shooting yourself in the foot, right? Because uh, when, uh, I demonstrated that exhibit at the conference and said, oh, the chukonri is great. You can do couple in doctor, except you have to have a micro positioner to position air gap. So you can get it to exactly right gap to, to do it. Of course, later on, we uh, this was very effective demonstration, but it was very ineffective because it gave a wrong expression. You need a micro positioner. And actually I use micro positioners to demonstrate that uh, because later we showed that it is a matter of the actual magnetics design and, and the actual magnetic design, I'll give you also a result of that. The actual magnetics design was saying, okay, we'll have a EI core and I'll put a gap all on one side. This is C core. What? C yeah. core. This is a yeah, whatever. Or you can call the U core, U U core, but using upside down. So you have actually one winding. No, no, no. E core is like this. This is E core with the central post. This is E core. Okay. Uh, whatever terminology, because here this is a. You agree that some people call this. Uh, U, U core, U, U leg and U leg, and this is gap on both sides. So you can have two parts, or you can have E I core, because E and I piece, right? But you can have a E I core is uh, uh, basically U, U core and so on. But anyway, point is you have winding here and you have winding here. And then 
whether you do it this way or I put it, you know, 90 degrees around, the point is uh, one winding sees all the gap and this winding has no gap. And that is exactly what you'll get, that you'll get this one constant current and this one is, you know, I published a paper, I published a patent. Why, did the, why didn't people, uh, didn't uh, adopt it? Because that was great solution for the uh, non-isolated converter because you had a then output which is generating a constant current irrespective of what's inductance at which you're coupling. You see the inductance coupling is happening on any inductance coupling. So we have low inductance and you may have a primary side, very high ripple, but the secondary side will have a, no ripple and, and huge current, you know, that because opposite, you can have a high ripple on the primary and no ripple on the secondary. And it's done with very little inductance, okay? And it is operating and only operating, it is correct, constant, at all operating condition, any load current and any voltage uh, conversion ratio, okay? But, you know, that's, that's part of this inertia in the industry because if anything is, uh, you know, they, they considered this my converter at the time and still nowadays, uh, my new converter is like a poison, you know, they don't want to get the poison, you know, so that's, sorry, but that's, uh, that's reality, okay? But when it's going to change, I don't know, uh, but sooner or later, they have to get off their, uh, of their, how do you say, uh, reluctance to adopt uh, a new innovation, you know, and that's what's happening for the last four years. And now when I introduce this uh, in 2010, and I'll show you in the latter part of this course, I'll introduce you to this uh, uh, new switching methods, which I published in 2010, one year before this APEC and uh, um, PCI conference in Europe, when I had the uh, presentation in the conferences, I introduced uh, uh, Power Electronics Technology four articles uh, in four parts from May to December 2010 and published it with nice uh, articles in uh, Power Electronics Technology, which was a magazine. And I got even uh, 800 people on a free webinar for two hours. But uh, again, ignorance continue. I introduced at that time what I think was a revolutionary change in the field, but, um, but the field continue ignoring it. So what can I do?